They say opinions are like noses and everyone has one. Hello there and welcome to Use Your Voice. On this episode, well, elections are fast approaching. We have just some few weeks to elections. And today we just want to find out from students, from people, their views and thoughts about the elections. And I have some wonderful students with me here today. I am finding out from the young gentleman to my right. Are you voting? Yes, please, I'm voting. Oh, you are voting. I like the confidence. Okay, so what is, what, what is making you want to vote? So I believe um, we're in a democratic state or in a democratic society and it's my right to vote, to choose who should lead me. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's more reason why. And this is my first time voting. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Aside that, is there anything that is informing your decision to vote for what political party? Yes, yes, yes. So me, my first reason for voting is I'm looking up, uh, what's the name, um, my younger ones, those oh, okay. going, uh, I enjoy the free SHS mm. and I'll be very happy to see others to enjoy the same thing I, because I'm from a family where, um, I wouldn't say we don't have, but then we are six mm. and the first one my first, uh, my first, uh, the first, our firstborn was asked, I think it was 2016, yeah. was asked to leave the exam so because he didn't pay some yes. his fees. Yeah, so, but then I enjoyed that thing for free. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think it's, it's, it's very nice. It's very nice. And I'd want to, was it, vote for a leader who will come and continue the same thing. Because I don't want my younger ones to experience what my senior brother went through back then. Hmm. Yes. You think education is key and as a matter of fact, everyone has the opportunity or should get the opportunity to be educated. Very important, yes. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. People, so we know that election is fast approaching come December. We have just about some few weeks to it. Tell us, are you prepared? Are you voting? What, what are your thoughts? Honestly, I'm not prepared for the voting because um, I'm not interested. It's not like I'm not interested, but I feel like our leaders did not provide a reason for us to vote. The government in power did not hold any accountability to us, like was not accountable to us, did not give us any basic reason. And I think it's something that has been going on for some time now, that um, our leaders come to power and at the end, I don't know if I'm not the one following it, but if there has been situations like that. But then I've not really gotten a clear cut of accountability from our leaders. And therefore, I do not see any reason to involve myself in the elections. I don't really see the, uh, the reason why I should be voting because I don't see any development going on in our country. You see when government come and go. The other government, th those who come into power, they don't really continue the project the other government did. They don't even continue. Then it will be, this one will be going this way, that one will be going that way. It's not really helping. Yeah, so me too. I did not even do my voter's ID. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, wait, wait, wait. Okay. You didn't, you didn't do it. Like you didn't register? No, 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 no. Just because no. you've totally lost interest? Yes, 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 yes. Because I don't see any... Yeah, to be honest, I don't see the reason why I should be voting because I don't see any development in the country, yeah. Justice, are you voting this December? Um, I don't think so. Why? What, what's up? Um, okay. For politics, like I'm someone who really likes politics, oh, okay. and for my analysis, I think now the Ghanaian politics looks like a game. Yeah. So that's why you're not interested. That's why I'm not interested in voting this year. But but what makes you say that? Okay, so let's do some little analysis. Yeah, sure. So looking at um, Dr. Baumier's um, let's say his digital money like digital money i think this is something that's already existing in the sense that now i can make transactions without what using physical cash i can be in my house and just do transaction from the bank to my momo so if he says this is something he's going to implement i think it's something that's already in existence 
you get it. And looking at ex-president John Mahmes, um 24-hour economy, I think there's something that's already in the system. In the sense that now looking at most industries, they run shifts, you get it. So some get to work daytime, work daytime and others work at night. So I think it's something that's already in. And looking at their rallies, that's where they are, hold rallies where they criticize each other. Yeah, the parties criticize each other. You see NDC criticizing MPP during their rallies and MPP criticizing NDC. So I feel it's a game. Mm. But, but they are not the, just the only political parties we have in the country. All right, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get so it. What about, so that means if the two of them, you think they are playing games, then there should be another option for you, or what do you say? Um, I think you are right, but then, okay, looking at Ghana, mm. there are the two main, if it's not NDC, then it's MPP. So I think, I don't know. But you are just not interested in I'm voting. I'm not interested in voting this year. But the, uh, the policies you actually mentioned, they are just about one or some few of them. If you look at their manifestos, they do. They have said a lot. Yeah, but looking at, okay, for my analysis, I think these are their main policies. Right. Yeah, right. from both parties, these are their main policies. So I think it doesn't work for me. Yeah. You've just lost trust in them, or I just want to understand. I've just lost trust in Ghanaian politics, does it? What do you think is the way forward? I think our leaders must be truthful because it looks like they keep lying to us day in, day out. That's how I feel. They keep lying to us day in, day out. Because looking at, um, let me say something. I'm not trying to be like, um, I think in the year 2019, I think the current president, does His Excellency Kufadum, I think in the Ot Oti River, he promised to build a this one, bridge that Oti in the river. He promised to build a bridge. On the, and I think it didn't happen. And in the year 2021, he still, like, he emphasized on it that he was going to do it. And up to now, not it's not done. You have oh, no. I, just, I, I left politics, so I'm always, yeah. Oh, I see. So that really broke your heart. Yeah, he really. Should you promise, and let's say, you didn't fulfill your promise and you will come back to what we ensure them that you are going to do it and up to now there's no outcome then i think what are leaders doing like really it really helped hit a lot because you promise them you go to the chief like you promise a whole chief in the year 2019 you didn't do anything then in the year 2021 you come back to what we ensure them that you are going to do it and up to now you haven't done anything then what are leaders doing Nasara, are you voting Yes, please. I'm also a first-time voter. Oh, I, I can see that. Yeah. Tell me about it. yeah. <laughs> because, like, I'm going to exercise my franchise. And I know this is a bit hilarious, but being in a queue and then dipping my hand in the ink and it's, it's something very intriguing. And also, I am a youth, right? Yes, this part is, is very emotional. They said the youth are the future leaders and looking at this generation there's always a saying that we'll end up burning the, what, the future because of everything we do and maybe it's as a result of hardship and other stuff but to me exercising my franchise is like standing firm in what I believe making the change we desire because it's sometimes appalling how these leaders when they want the party come to us they do everything to our bidding. They say a politician can even wash your clothes. But when they get what they want, they disappear. And this is a time for me to make my voice heard. If I don't take the step now, when will I take it? If I don't see today as the future, when will I see the future? Because if I keep on saying that the future is bright, when is it? Maybe the future is now. Yeah, so it's actually something that I know putting my hand in the ink ha, and taking the ballot paper. <laughs> <laughs> have you decided who you are voting for? <laughs> my party leader died, a queer don't oh. woman <laughs> empowerment. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't believe she was dead, for real. I thought it was a joke. Mm -hmm. I didn't believe she was dead. And we are many, those of us supporting a queer don't we are many. Those and people are like, what did we see in her and other stuff? But women empowerment, you get me.
but God knows best. We love it, but God love it more. So right now, uh -huh, I'm considering the other political parties, and I know my decision will be the change Ghana need because I am a change maker, I am a student activist, and I am the future, the oh, chief wow. conqueror. Are you going to vote come December? Yes, why not? Of course. I like the energy. Why not? All right. So what is informing your decision in voting? Um, I think right now the country needs a great leader, visionary leader to get us on track, to put us where we are supposed to be. The corruption, the bribery, the unemployment, a whole lot is like is making us decline in growth as a country. So I think my vote or yes, my vote is needed for the right person to come on. That's a good one. So I'm sure while you are looking at all of these indicators to vote, you are also looking at some policies that these political parties have come out to say. Which one intrigues you and is making you want to vote for party A or party B? Okay, so to me, the NDC party policy is a great one, I think, especially with the Women's Development Banking, the first year tertiary, like they are going to take the policy the unemployment and all that, I think it's a great work the NDC is trying to like do. John Dramani Mahama is my best candidate to do this, yes. The man has a lot of charisma, he has a lot of good things to me that like I feel like he'll be a great leader for us again. Yes. Well, that means you were impressed with his leadership in some years ago, some four years when he was president. Oh yes, I wasn't so like matured, but then I could see whatever went on and how the economy was when he was in power by then. For me, I'm going to vote. I'm going to do skirt and blouse. Though people are coming and saying that, and uh, why are you? You shouldn't do skirt and blouse when you vote for NPP parliamentary. You should vote for um, NPP presidential. Me, I'm not doing that. Okay, me, I look at visionary, like visionary leaders. I support a leader with vision. So if you're a leader and then, like we've been support, we've been supporting you since, and you've not done anything for us. I don't. I will not even come to you, or I will not even go to the ballot paper and then vote for you. Okay, yes. So. Zenato has been my um, parliamentary candidate since. Mm. And then now I'm changing to Nino Enote because I believe he can do it. He is not even the parliamentary um, candidate, there. candidate there, but he's doing a whole lot. He's not the member yes. of parliament. He's not the member of parliament there, but he's doing a whole lot. And then I believe that when they give it to him, he's going to do more than he's doing. And also for the presidency, I don't want to talk about it. Mm. Because, you know, <laughs> it carries a whole lot. So I would like to hold it. The first point I'm going to look out before I vote for any political party is number one, our economy. Talking about the economy, um, the monetary issues or the kind of uh, things that are how items are going up when you go to the market, the little money you have, you can't buy anything. Our transportation and even the dollar rate as compared to what to the city number two we look out to employment you will finish school but at the end of the day you have every qualification for you to find yourself in a job but you can't get and i have a very um, clear example i have a sister who is even completed um, tech up to now for more than two three years he has nowhere to find a job and when you go into any institution to put down your application to seek for a job they tell you that you have to get somebody as a what as a link up. All these things are some of the things that as Ghanaians we are supposed to look at. We shouldn't be in a country where we will suffer in our own country. And you can see a lot of the youth are even traveling outside. When they go on to different people's uh, um, country to f f uh, seek for greener pastures, all these things should tell our leaders that the youth are suffering. That is why they go there to go and find any um, how do you call it, less job to do, but in their own country, I believe they will not do that. But they go there to go and do all sorts of jobs. So I think that for us to vote this year, we'll have to look up to a political party that is coming to change the economy and as well as provide jobs for the youth to do. What do you say? You are not going to be a... So far, you are not going to be a... 
Where do you compare Papa? And tell us how to make me once about a while then. What to? And Timino, seventh December, no men's room, Cotoba, meaning the entire Cotoba, and I mean Nim, the Metuaman. And I mean, I'm the country, I say, maybe I have my sitting room. No man who dear, air cosso. So I must say, I want my sitting room. I'm there, I swat to Abba. May her name be a Miagan, may her name be a cosso. I want my sitting room, any and you may be a Mira, Etimia Boame. True, we are kind of saying, eh, what do you call it? Government now. I don't really have a reason. I'm just not interested in the elections. That's it. Is there a particular reason why you are just not interested? I feel like whether I go there to cast my vote or no, there are some particular people we know as Ghanaians that they are the ones going to win. So it's not needed that I go there to vote. That's the reason. That's just my reason. Is it because you think you can't really trust the system in bringing out credible, you know, results, or is there something? I can't trust the system. That's it. Have you voted before? Yes, I voted 2020, last four years. I think it didn't turn out well. No. I'll vote this year, and I'm looking at the history of um, the parties. That's what they've done in the past years, comparing NDC and MPP. So I'll base my voting on that. I'll be voting this year, 2024 elections, I'll be voting. And I'll be voting based on how convinced I am of the policies one particular candidate has brought on board. Firstly, I think that if I don't vote, someone will vote for me. And I don't want to regret, <laughs> live with the regret that someone made a choice that probably I didn't like. So I'll be voting because one, I have to vote. Secondly, I'm impressed with one of the candidates' vision. I mean, trying to move the country forward based on digitalization and based on the fact that there's hardship in the system and then still he's not folded his arms and being uh, apologetic about it, but then trying to brave the storm, trying to find solutions. I mean, globally, there are enormous challenges. Many governments have fallen because of the global challenges. But when you have a government that has sat down to think that, okay, plan A has not worked, let me switch to plan B, let me bring uh, innovative ideas to confront the ever-changing dynamics of the problems the world is being confronted with. I think that that's the candidate that should be going for. I'm ready to vote. Um, looking at the situations and the hardship going on in the country, I would like to vote for a change. Yeah, because uh, things are too hard. So I'm thinking that maybe a change would, would do a little. Uh, because uh, looking at the current government, it's not bad, it's good. But things are very hard nowadays too. So we want to change and see how far it will go. Ghanaians have spoken and to some they are greatly anticipating the elections come December 7 and they can't wait to see how far their votes can take the country. But to others they are nonchalant about it because they believe that their votes in previous years did not yield any needed results or any necessary results. But we are about to find out, are you voting this year? Stay tuned for Use Your Voice because here we give you the opportunity to air your thoughts and your views about anything, all the issues about the country. Use your voice. We'll meet another time. Bye!